Well, good morning, Lionheart. It's your old pal Jordan the Lion coming to you live from Guanajuato, Mexico. Got about five hours of sleep, and then the church bells started going nuts outside my window. So let's get up and get the day started. We have a lot to do today. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. So today what I want to do is I have a, uh, a rather long list of things that I want to see, including the birthplace of Diego Rivera, the house that he lived in when he was very little boy and they have some of his artwork here as well as we're just going to explore the city there's a lot to see it's a beautiful colorful city that i didn't get to see any of because it was completely pitch dark so let's go see it now actually i believe they have a restaurant inside this hotel so i want to go get some breakfast so i ordered that the maletes right there and here it is and the first thing I have to tell you is how friendly everyone is. As soon as I walked downstairs, walked in the dining room, every table turned around and said, Buenos dias. So friendly. Oh my God, this food is good. So fresh, so good. I can't believe I've never heard of this and had this in LA. Oh, I can't wait to get out and explore this city. So the meal I just had was 65 pesos, which is about $3.52 in US dollars. Pretty good deal for a great breakfast. And if you've never seen a peso, there's a $200 peso. Well, 200 peso. I stand corrected. I just went to pay and they told me it comes with my room, so. All right, let's go see the world. So we're gonna see on this trip a lot of sandstone buildings. A lot of pinks, a lot of greens, a lot of blues, yellows, and no complaints out of me. Check that out. You know I live for stuff like this. Live for it. So a little of the history of Guanajuato is that this all used to be part of Spain. And Guanajuato was the very first city to deflect from Spain in the 1800s. And this was actually one of the richest cities in the entire world. Um, at one point, they had even just one mine outside the city that was producing two thirds of the silver in the world. But it was also said that it, many times um, back in the 1500s, you could just walk around and pick up gold pieces off the ground. Wow. Look at all the hearts. Now this area has historically been a uh, fruit and vegetable market, and now this is the uh, memorial for peace. This fountain. This is called the Fuente de Beratillo. So as you can imagine, once Spain found out that there was silver here, they immediately came and started basically taking over the city and they made all the people that lived here start working as miners and basically doing all the grunt work. And that stayed like that for a couple of hundred years until they finally revolted. And they actually have a statue to the revolt and a really interesting story as to how they won that revolt. Well, right there is the Teatro Principal. And that's one of the, uh, at one time it was considered one of the most beautiful most glorious theaters in all of Mexico. It's a performing arts theater. Let's go take a look at those crazy doors. They said this theater's actually been renovated two or three times since it was founded, but at the time that this was created, this was one of the biggest booming cities and entertainment cities in all of Mexico. Check out the doors. So you'll notice that even though there are some cars up here where we're walking around, for the most part, they all go underneath the ground and the pedestrians get the right of way to walk. It's kind of interesting to me. I know some people wouldn't like it, but I actually do. I love how you can see the different sections that have been uh, repaired over time or just the look, you get the age to it. So I found out they have a Don Quixote museum with Don Quixote portrayed in various different forms. So I'm gonna go see it. Let's go do that now. Now if you look straight up there, that green thing that looks like a slide in between those statues, that's actually a funicular and we're gonna ride that while we're here. It's a really steep one too. Now we definitely have to stop here. I forgot this was on the way, but this is the Teatro Juarez. And this has one of the most elaborate wall kind of pieces anywhere. So let's go take a look. And 
Unfortunately, they have some sort of event going on inside, so I can't go in today. Now you'll notice here that there's eight columns, like Roman style columns almost. And on top of those, there are statues. Those represent the um, muses, the eight muses. So take a look at this statue. There's all kinds of things to notice about it. But one of the greatest things that I noticed was it almost looked like Frankenstein right here on the knee. There's the artist's signature. Well, this is the Temple of San Diego, so I definitely think we should go in there and take a look around. And one thing I should tell you about Guanajuato, this was the inspiration for the Land of the Dead in the Disney movie Coco. So a little bit of the story to the uh, Templo de San Diego is that this was in 1663 when the what they called the Barefoot Franciscans came. This was the site of their first monastery and they actually had at the original time it was three times this size and they said when they originally came they, uh, the king didn't want to fund it and then eventually it was funded, it was built, it became the first monastery and then they kept having flooding throughout you know centuries and one of the floods one of the major floods came and destroyed it and so it had to be rebuilt Unfortunately, they don't have any kind of plaque or anything to let me know who this is. Look at the funicular up there coming down. Right there. Well, I do believe we found it. I do believe we have found him. Let's go check it out. All right, color me shocked. This museum to Don Quixote is free. Nobody wants to take my money for breakfast. They don't want to take my money for museums. I can get used to that. Now this museum is basically all artistic depictions of Don Quixote and I loved that story. Well I think I was in sixth grade when we studied it and I just thought that was the greatest thing ever. Poor old man fighting that windmill. So the story of Don Quixote is basically um, it's Don Quixote becomes obsessed with these knights and books that he reads and he goes off seeking his own adventures that are uh, like the way the knights and the books got to experience it but he can't find them so he just creates these <laughs> these adventures he fights windmills That one is amazing, I love it. Really take that one in. Man, I love that one. That is awesome. That is so awesome.
By the way, I am stupefied by how many beautiful women there are in Guanajuato. If you were wondering at all. <laughs> I love that little addition. You can see the profile behind him. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is so cool. Wow, what a great museum. I always, before I go on a trip and I make these videos, I always look to see what other people have made videos of so that I don't do exactly what they did. And I didn't see anybody do this one. They have so much stuff here, it's crazy. You can see here it's two floors, at least. Wow! This takes over the whole wall. This is magnificent, look at that. There's Christ. Look at the ceiling. Are you kidding me? That is amazing. I think what I like about it the most is that there's no, the dimensions are so different. There's no um, balance to it, but that's kind of what makes it cool. And then here's the other side of it. I know every time I take a trip, I say that I'm completely amazed by something or many things, and I always am. Anytime I get to see something new and different, I'm a happy guy. And getting to see this is just, too cool, I didn't even know this existed before I came here. Here's Don with his battle lesions. As we walk up the stairs, there's an entire mural taking over this wall of Don Quixote as well. Wow, that one's really neat as well. Believe it or not guys, I'm not showing you everything here. I'm just showing you the stuff that I really, really like. So that shows you how much stuff that's really cool in here. 
Now they do have a section that's not Don Quixote in here and it's really incredible so I wanna show you a few pieces of that stuff. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. Windmills. I guess this one is Don Quixote getting a uh, shave. How on earth did Mickey Mouse get involved in this creation? Sorry about all the creaking wood floors. Jeez. Wow, this was absolutely incredible. Look at this giant wall piece. Well, Don, you did not disappoint. This museum was everything I thought it would be and more. Well, if you're looking for the Museum of Don Quixote, it's right here. Totally worth your time. And in total good taste, they have a statue to the author as well. Miguel Cervantes. What a beautiful building. One thing I definitely love about this place is they have art and statues everywhere, which you know I live for. I wish this were open. I'd love to go in there and take a look. So one of the things that I read online was they said a lot of people that have homes here have dogs like that, but on the roof as a watchdog. That beautiful hillside up there. Boo. Wow, do you guys see what I see? That big statue over there, let's go take a look. That thing is massive. I just had to stop and take a look at that when I saw it. And there is the Teatro Cervantes. Look at that beautiful hillside. Isn't that just amazing? I love seeing all that color. Same with up here. Well, Lionhearts, I think we're gonna call it a day here. I have some more vlogging to do, but you'll see it tomorrow. Have a great night, thank you for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow here from Guanajuato, Mexico. Adios.